Mike Cardano with Roto Experts in the Fantasy Sports Network, and I'm here to put the odds of winning in daily fantasy gaming in your favor. It's my job, it's what I do, so sit up straight and pay attention, or risk losing your money to those who are. And I hope you've all had a wonderful and relaxing Independence Day. It's now time to get back to business because we've got some stacking to do. The New York Yankees travel to Progressive Field to take on the Cleveland Indians. And the Yanks are going to give the ball to a fellow named Shane Green. Now, Green has a career minor league ERA of 4.39 and a career minor league whip of 1.478. Now, he walked three batters in just a third of an inning in his only Major League Baseball appearance to date. And I'll give him a pass on that because he was probably nervous. But he couldn't get anyone out at the minor league level, and I don't see that changing today. Now, Green opposes Justin Masterson, and if he wasn't an all-star last season, he simply wouldn't be given the opportunity to remain in the Tribe's rotation. Masterson has one of the worst lines of any starter in the major leagues, pitching to a 5.16 ERA with a whip of 1.59. Now, many sports books aren't even putting out a line on this game and taking action, and that should tell you something. Do your homework and roster a number of Yankees and Indians batters today. Toronto left-hander J.A. Happ takes the hill against the Angels today, and he's going to have a tough time getting through Mike Trout, Albert Pujols, and C.J. Cron a few times if he wants to last. Either that, or we're going to see the Toronto Longmen in the game. Either way, this is a great spot for those aforementioned Angels. The Astros face Miles Mikolos today in the Battle of Texas, and that's not good for the Rangers. Jose Altuve, George Springer, and Matt Dominguez are all guys I'd be looking at there. The Rockies just came off a four-game series where they scored eight runs in a win and four runs total in three losses. Now, they're definitely not firing on all cylinders at the moment, and they face Ian Kennedy today, who has quietly been having a decent season and definitely rewarding those who have been playing him in daily fantasy, as he's been striking out 9.5 batters per nine. Now, I know the game's at Coors Field, but sometimes you need to think out of the box. Kennedy faced the Rockies early in the season, going seven innings, striking out seven, giving up three runs. He had a whip of less than one in that game, and he's pitching fairly well. He's priced considerably less than any of the top guys today, and I would not hesitate to use him as a second pitcher on a site like DraftKings for just $8,400, or as a third pitcher on Draft Street if you're playing there. I'm not seeing any games really threatened by weather today. There's a 30% chance of some isolated thunderstorms popping up for the Pirates-Cardinals game in St. Louis. So those of you who are planning on spending a chunk of your budget using Adam Wainwright should definitely take a look before first pitch. Hey, what am I, chopped liver? All of you looking to play me one-on-one -on -one in Daily Fantasy need to put your money where your tweets are. Here's how it works. If you want to challenge me to a cash game, Follow me on Twitter at Mike Cardano and shoot me a message with the site you want to play on, the amount of your cash game challenge, and your favorite charity. I'll choose one of you at random each day to square off. Now, if you win, you get to keep the cash. If I win, I'll donate the winnings to the charity of your choice. Just the kind of guy I am. Good luck in your daily fantasy gaming today, everyone. I'll see you right back here tomorrow on the Fantasy Sports Network.